Hello again, my name is David DeFranco from Squarespace Summit over at sspacesummit.com. Okay, so in a previous video tutorial, I explained to you how to create a beautiful photo gallery in just a few clicks. But what if you wanted to do something similar with videos? Yes, an actual video gallery, which basically allows users to view videos in a nice grid-like fashion. Now, this is huge and definitely something I enjoy very much about Squarespace. Okay, so getting started, as usual, press the escape key on your keyboard to bring up your site manager. Then click on pages. Okay, so this is where you want to select or create a new page. For this video's purpose, let's go right down here, click the plus sign, create new page, and let's just call this video gallery and press return or enter on your keyboard. And there you go, just like that, my video gallery page is created. Now obviously this is nothing without actual video content, so let's do just that. Hovering on the right side of your page, click edit, and then select any of these add content bubbles. And then select video. Now this is where Squarespace gives you the option of adding a video URL. So for this video's purpose, let's go over to my YouTube channel, and this right here is my video manager. Let's select Villager Amiibo Get, which is actually kind of important to me because I am an Amiibo um, collector. So copy link, going back over to my video gallery view on Squarespace, and let's paste that link into that text field. Squarespace automatically imports my video thumbnail. I mean, look at that. It's so incredibly useful. Now, to make this video player a little more aesthetic and just pleasing on the eyes overall, let's select Use Custom Thumbnail. And as you can see, Squarespace puts their own thumbnail in there with that small play icon. And then click Save. And just like that, my video is on the page. But one video does not really mean it's suddenly a video gallery. We need at least two videos on the page in order to call this a gallery. So going back to my video manager on YouTube, let's scroll down and select a random video. Let's go with my CES 2015 coverage video, copy link, going back to Squarespace. Now going down here, click the add content bubble once again, select video and the same window pops up, Command-V or Control-V if you're on Windows. And just like my last video, Squarespace automatically pulls in the data from YouTube. Clicking Use Custom Thumbnail makes it appear just a bit better, and then click Save. Now this is great and all, but what if we wanted the videos side by side? Well thankfully Squarespace makes that incredibly simple as well. Simply click and drag the video on the side and boom just like that we have a video gallery so let's click save go to the website view and play the video and there's the video and there's video number two hey guys why are you David Franco here from David Franco. and that just happens to be me but what if you wanted to do four videos well you simply repeat the process open up your site manager video again Click edit, then click the add content bubble, select video, and let's select another video. So let's go to Leap Trade Hall for January of 2015, copy link, paste, again select use custom thumbnail to make it appear just a bit better, save. Now let's add one more video, once again going to my video manager view, let's go to page 6 just to make things a little more interesting. And let's select last days of summer, copy link, go back to my Squarespace page, paste the link, use custom thumbnail, save, save my pages changes, and would you look at that, we now have a nice grid-like fashion of my own YouTube videos. Now, it is important to keep in mind, this does not only apply to your own videos, as long as you have a video URL for a YouTube video, a Vimeo video, or anything that Squarespace is compatible with, it will work just fine. 
This is simply one of those features, in my opinion, that goes a very long way, so I definitely encourage you to use it somehow. But with that said, let's end this video tutorial here. I think I just gave you guys plenty of information. Put it to use, just create a nice video gallery, and I think you'll be happy with the results. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video tutorial, powered by Squarespace Summit.